Hello everyone, Mary Ann from Revealing Light Tarot. I want to update our reading on the Middle East. I'm staying with the Middle East before impeachment uh, in the US of this sitting president, though I will read on that before the week's end ended. I'm staying with the Middle East because that is really the um, bombshell uh, type of situation that impacts on us all. Um, now, uh, I actually did a reading, well, just before I start the start the uh, the reading, I did uh, readings yesterday, which I decided not to upload because I actually got interrupted in the middle, uh, which was fine. I just forgot I had an appointment. Um, but as a result, I thought, no, I'll, I'll, I'll read again on this situation. The reading yesterday uh, showed broadly, and I'll, I want to uh, validate that today, showed broadly that um, there would not in the shorter term be action from the US. Uh, I, I thought that they might move towards some sanctions rather than direct uh, strikes. I feel felt also that uh, Iran isn't done. Even though it is saying that it is done, it is not. And this is what I want to chase up or continue exploring today. The other thing I felt is that that meeting that Trump had, the US president had with the Saudis in the Oval Office, had something to do with um, fulfilment of some sort of agenda. Um, it wasn't. Uh, it wasn't published. It wasn't. Um, it was. Uh, tr you know. In other words, uh, it was left off um, certain agendas, and of course, the press didn't know about it. Um, so why was that meeting so secret? We'll take another look at that uh, at that particular meeting. The fact that Donald Trump stood down, if you like, um, after that meeting is significant. However, I don't feel Iran is done. I feel that they're going to be waging more of a clandestine, uh, more of a covert type of operation. They, uh, there is the, um, I think they're playing a very strategic game. Um, China, ha they've got a lot of support. China has said they will step up and support Iran if there is uh, an abuse of power by the uh, President Trump. So we're still on a we're still on a knife's edge. This is still a tinderbox regardless. Uh, Congress uh, is moving toward restricting Donald Trump's ability to take further action without sign-off from Congress. That's a good thing. I've seen that in the cards for the last couple of weeks that I've been reading on this subject. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. There's a bounty on Trump's head. Um, you know, I think if I was Donald Trump, I, I feel that... Um, you know, even though he has the might of the U.S. superpowers military behind him, uh, there is uh, more ways that um, the Middle East can wage uh, this action than an overt, um, an overt a sign of aggression. So uh, there's, go I feel that there's going to be um, uh, Iran. Part of Iran's strategy is creating doubt in people's minds about the authenticity of what America has done. Um, and they will continue to do that. Um, so let's have a look at, um, let's have a look at, uh, first of all, we'll go to uh, the Trump's plans, the US plans for any further strikes. Will the US strike Iran? Is Iran actually goading uh, America into striking, um, coming and uh launching some kind of disproportional uh, response, as indeed was done with the taking out of the Iranian general. Um, so we still haven't yet seen the evidence of an imminent attack. For anyone who uh, wants to comment that the Iranian uh, general was uh, not a good man, I'm in fully full agreement. But the uh, escalation is a matter of concern for me and for, um, for everyone as a result of this action. Were there other options? Okay, so... And where is the evidence around an imminent attack? My readings have shown that the um, that Trump undertook this really to take the um, take the focus off his own impeachment. Um, all right, and I do feel that the meeting with the Saudis this is an agenda. It's almost like Trump and the Saudis are collaborating. Um, all right, so let's have a look at. Um, Will the U.S. strike back? Will the U.S. escalate, continue to escalate? They've said they're going to stand down. However, uh, will they stand down? Will they stand down um, or will they escalate? So let's have a look. Will the U.S. make a strike on Iran in the short term? Will the uh, U.S. 
make a uh, military strike on you uh, on Iran in the in the next few weeks. All right. So we've got uh, we've got balance as the signifier card. We've got uh, a healing coming through. That's a good card. That's a good sign. That is challenged, unfortunately, by deception. If you have seen my um, if you have seen my reading on Saturn Pluto conjunction, you will understand this Seven of Swords is a key uh, a key um, card, a key theme, a key focus uh, for this time. Balance harmony peace is being challenged by deception the seven of swords where is that deception coming from this reading is on uh is on whether the u.s will strike again we have the empress card again this abundance um this ability to uh to reap a harvest is the foundation of the reading it's also mother russia um so let's keep going. Um, this action that Trump is taking, uh, certainly uh, allies are not in lockstep with, with, with Trump at the moment. Um, this is uh, portraying Trump um, as, uh, as an unstable uh, leader who is not, who is, who, who doesn't take, um, uh, uh, you know, advice, um, who chooses the most extreme option. Um we have the page of swords in the past okay so there was some kind of there is some kind of um i'm trying to find the words around this um there is there is some kind of uh spy in the camp some kind of truth some kind of um communication that has come forward it's only a page is this is is this the um the evidence that the strike on this general was based upon. Um, we have the Queen of Wands as the potential future. This, I feel, is Congress um, moving to stop him going uh, to all-out war with Iran. Um, again, this feminine energy, this feminine rising, uh, the um, uh, the practicality the of, of the Queen, the Queen who comes in and restores order, restores stability, restores security. It is what she is reflecting what the populace want. The populace want peace. They don't want war. We have in the immediate future this battle weariness. Um, that's interesting. Let me bring down the uh, laptop. I'm using my universal um, tarot, golden universal tarot. Uh, in the here and now, we have some kind of mobilization of the, this is the Knight of Wands. This is a a, wand, a, a knight that moves in um, that is, is fairly passionate. Um, let's keep going and see if we can uh, get to a clear outcome. We have the um, Wheel of Fortune things at the moment appearing to change for the better. Um, the fear is that things will actually start to accelerate, um, but we have a the Two of Wands. It is a crossroads card. It's not what I, it's a plan that matures in time, uh, but we do have um, clarified by the, the Knight of Swords, uh, which would be taking some kind of action um, it could be that a plan accelerates. A plan that was going to unfold in time is brought forward very quickly. This is an alliance here. I feel that what Trump will do uh, is send in allied forces. He will go to uh, the uh, the UK <clears throat> Prime Minister, the Australian Prime Minister, the Canadian Prime Minister. He will go to the EU, and he will talk, he will talk about sending in. The plan is to send in uh, more troops, not less, and those troops would be a um, uh, almost a, 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 a UN type of peacekeeping force. Um, let's have a look at what's on the bottom here. We've got the um, the emperor uh, here. Um, control Trump. We've got the world beginnings and endings, but unfortunately we have loss. So I feel that this grand plan of Trump's um, or of the US to perhaps gather allied forces to come in uh, is is not is going to end in some way in loss. Let's have a look at this. The Middle East doesn't want more um, uh, more allied forces occupying um, occupying territory here. 
Uh, show me this two of wands. Let's see what this um, plan that matures in time. It's actually going to be brought forward a little bit more quickly than what was anticipated. We're at the crossroads. Uh, show me this two of wands, please, spirit. Okay, so we've got the American vote. Uh, it could be put um, through the Congress. Uh, we do have a, um, a, a five of wands. Um, this, unfortunately, is my card for um, some kind of military action, um, but it will be, uh, there's some kind of loss around it as well. Um, yep, and we've got the, uh, we've got the four of, Four of Wands. Um, let me just get a clarifying. Okay, this is. Uh, uh, I I think what the, the Trump administration will do will start to lobby uh, the the Democrats to bring this um, plan forward around uh, this occupying force in the Middle East. Was this why the Saudis were in his Oval Office uh, to bring in a peacekeeping force uh, at the expense of everybody else? Uh, in order to keep peace in their region after the peace was uh, threatened by a foolish action on behalf of a, a very unstable, some would question um, the fitness for office of perhaps an unfit president. Um, all right, so let's have a look at um, whether or not what what is Iran going to do because my intuition is telling me that they won't, that they will be moving more into the shadows, that it will be less obvious what they are doing. Nevertheless, they are, are, are doing something. So um, there was a, a missiles fired at the Iraqi uh, embassy. Of course, uh, Iraq wants US forces out of its country. Um, the Middle East <laughs> is not a more stable place following the assassination of the Iranian general. Um, again, I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not condoning uh, what type of a person he was. Um, he's been responsible for the deaths of uh, U.S. Um, uh, U.S. troops in the past, Allied forces, perhaps. Um, you know, but. Uh, the action that Trump took did not de-escalate, did not de-escalate. All right, so let's have a look at Iran. What is Iran going to do? Um, show me Iran. Is Iran going to retaliate or stand down? Is Iran going to retaliate or stand down? Um, show me what is it. Is Iran going to continue to attack? Is Iran going to continue to uh, attack. Okay, so we've got the three of wands. This is suggesting that they are negotiating. Um, again, this is trade and commerce, and I go to the um, to the Gulf of Oman, um, sh passages of ships through the um, through that Gulf, through the um, I feel that this is what this is part of this covert action. Uh, I do have the two of swords in the challenge uh, position. There is decisions and compromises to be made. Um, so trade and commerce, the movement of oil, um, the movement uh, through uh, the waters um, are, are going to be impacted. Let's have a look at the um, ace of swords here. Uh, this is the truth coming out. Uh, this is also a yes card. It is the sword. I feel that this is how they're going to uh, how they're going to retaliate. There feels to me like there's going to be a series of actions, um, and it is based on what they feel that they have lost. It is based on the death of their uh, general, which has changed things. Um, we do have the Eight of Wands, things coming forward, things accelerating, which was in the fear position in the last reading. We have the Four of uh, Cups, this disappointment um, and loss is overshadowing this reading. We have the, ki the King of Swords in the here and now. There is a, a brute, uh, uh, I, <laughs> there is no doubt uh, in uh, their minds that they have been wrong. There is no doubt uh, in their minds that they need to take action. I feel this is a widespread um, uh, 
it's shared across uh, the Middle East, not just in Iran, but it, but in Iraq and possibly further as well. There is this alliance between Iraq and Iran, unfortunately. We have the uh, fear position, endings and beginnings. Whatever occurs in the Middle East is going to have an impact on the world. We have illumination and we have the sun here. This is a yes card. They are going to continue to take action. It could be to destabilise economies with that queen of coins. However, we have hope here. All is not lost at this time. Um, there will be some loss, though. Uh, let's have a look. We have Congress. Uh, the American Congress is going to step up. We have um, a victory. There's going to be some kind of victory for the Congress. We do have this anxiety and we do have the new starts that are coming. Um, I do feel... I do feel Iran's going to keep going. They're not going to de-escalate. They're not going to stand down. Watch for something around the waters and the ships and the passage of ships through, uh, through the um, through the Gulf of is it Gulf of Oman. Um, there could be an attack on a ship. Uh, as a result, there's going to be an Allied force I think sent to the Middle East. Um, Donald Trump escalated. He didn't de-escalate. The question is, did he know what he was doing? Was he acting on behalf of the Saudis? And that's what I'm going to ask before I close down this reading. Was Donald Trump acting on behalf of the Saudi of Saudi Arabia? Get a peacekeeping force in there, stabilize the region. Um, of course, Saudi can uh, be be offered protection and the movement of oil supplies keeps going uh, keeps going through um, let's have a look did Trump act on the request in this of the South of Saudi Arabia did Trump act on the request of Saudi Arabia I'm feeling he went too far I feel that he was there was an element of surprise in the reaction to what he did. We have the death card as the signifier uh, card and we have deception, the seven of swords. Um, look to that meeting uh, with the Saudis to understand the truth of the situation. Okay. All right, at the foundation of the reading, we do have uh, the Ten of Cups. We do have um, the needs of the many um, families. This is the American voters. That is the foundation, a strong foundation. We do have, uh, in the past, we've got a hit, someone uh, being uh, the general, being taken out, basically. Um, we've got the chariot as a, as a potential, um, or it could be the issue as well, to destabilise the region in order to bring in this perhaps allied force. We have the moon here. All is not what it seems. Things are being hidden from our view. Secrets are being kept. This is a very murky, deep pond. This was a plan that matured in time. This was a plan that has been in the making for some time to show uh, strength um, to uh, perhaps this is a reading around did Trump act on behalf of the Saudis? Uh, we've got the, in the hopes and fears, we've got the Hierophant card. This is a higher source coming in. I don't feel it's going to end the way that the Saudis perhaps wanted, wanted it to end because we have the Knight of Wands uh, here. Um, this is, again, a mobilisation. They wanted a peacekeeping force in the region. They wanted more soldiers, not less there. Um Unfortunately, we've got somebody being offered something. Uh, in This is new investment uh, streams. Uh, and we've got this restriction uh, coming up as well. When I read in layers, it's up to us to take the blindfolds off and to understand that these war games are being played uh, for the agendas of a few. What are the agendas of a few? It is a monetary gain. We do have the Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. 
we do have um, somebody holding on to information, but the insecurity of the nation, the loss, uh, a potential loss, and we have the Empress. Um, so things are being challenged, um, uh, are going to be challenged. The, the illusion that is being spun is, is quite clear to be seen. It could be we have something coming out on that Saudi Arabian meeting, perhaps the minutes or something, being uh, asked for um, this, it's not going to end the way that uh, that Trump and the Saudis have envisaged, and perhaps even the way that Russia has envisaged. So I'm going to leave that reading there for you to contemplate, um, along with what is coming up over the next week. My intuition is telling me Saudi as uh, uh, Iran has not stood down, that there is now a, a fairly strong alliance with Iraq and possibly others such as China. We know that um, uh, that is just going to build. And, of course, the Middle East is almost like trying to put out spot fires when you don't even know where, where the next one is going to uh, going to spring up. I feel that's the, uh, that's the Iranian strategy. Look to the Gulf of Oman, look to the passage of ships, look to a, perhaps an attack on a tanker. Um, all right, I'm going to leave that there. And then, of course, the response will be to send in an allied peacekeeping force, which uh, plays into Israel and Saudi Arabia's interests. All right, I will leave it there. I hope you enjoyed that reading. Um, all the best and I will see you soon. Thank you.